Hey there, how y'all doing today? This is Kay. I just got to fry me some chicken, y'all. Just a little drum it. Six little drum it. Now I'm trying to decide what I want to put on. I got some honey garlic. I think I'm gonna try a little bit of that. And, uh, <laughs> some barbecue sauce. I don't know how this might be too strong. I don't know. And I still get some of my beans. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to find something to read. Y'all don't know me. I ain't even on my mug. It's all right. We gotta have something on the side. Mm -hmm. Make it right out of chest cooking. So we're gonna start out with about three of them little jokers. Let's get our gracie. Uh -oh. It's cut, it's cut. Ooh, that garlic is strong, so we're gonna try a little bit of this. I ain't gonna waste it. Okay, so y'all know I put the garlic clove, the cloves in here. So let's drizzle a little bit of honey on that. Like that. Mm -hmm. A little bit of my. Mm. Okay, let's see. Mmm. That's good. And that garlic is strong. Y'all try this now. Get y'all some raw honey and cut, peel some um, whole garlic cloves and put it in there. You can put this on tea, meat, chicken, you know, whatever. T yeah, tea, tea, tea. Okay, now let's see. Oh, here you go. And this is some um, sweet baby braids barbecue sauce. I'm gonna put a little bit on the side right there. Ooh. Relaxing on the down. <coughs> Bless it. Hope y'all having an amazing Oh, Amen. Okay, now let's hope it's done. I fried these pretty quick. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go get you a bite. And that honey on there. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. And I use the paprika. Oh. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is good. I'm gonna tell you my season. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did go outside and get me some sun. It's beautiful today. Mm. Oh, delicious. I'm gonna get a little bit of these cold things. They ain't cold, they room too. Mm. 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 
and I'm earning. <laughs> Y'all use black pepper, garlic, paprika, celery salt, and Mrs. Dash. Garlic and herb. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh, this is good. Mm. I want to try another dressing. French. Good on pizza, chicken, steak. Ooh, I mean, when I used to eat beef, y'all, like a good old crunchy T-bone steak, like, got those little crunch around the edges. Ooh, and dip it in some French dressing, baby. Mm -mm -mm. See, I'm gonna be gonna get me a little steak. A T-bone steak. Ooh, this is good. Hey, y'all get to taste this one first. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 These are northern. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So this is my kind of semi-dinner lunch. I don't know. I got a couple left over there. I ain't five but six. I ain't had but six in there. I'm not so worried. Perfect piece. Oh, 
Hold on. I'm gonna say the rest. I got two more left. <laughs> See if I can find out something to read right quick. Little story time. Mm. Wow, that was wow. I gotta get a bag, put in my trash can. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that mukbang. I don't want y'all to sit up here and look at the plate. <laughs> okay, good. He's gonna go right Ooh, y'all ain't no good. That was the delicious. Then I washed it back. Have my little trash up and I don't keep nothing in here. No trash in here. I took my trash out twice today, threw away some little stuff. Well, honey, let's get into some words. I mean, what do y'all really think about it? Is it okay to be this cool? You know what I'm saying? It just be the last thing, girl. I'm telling y'all. I, uh, I thank God. I thank God. For, for days off. Thank God for your days off. Because you be in perfect peace. You get your rest. You take you a good old hot bath. And just relax. Wash your clothes. What y'all done done? Fold them up. Put them away. Had a decent breakfast. Thank God for it. Thank God for a decent lunch. Got some left for later, you know. Just thank God for every little thing. It's just be so much. If you just see what the most of the world is going through, y'all. We can we bless. We take care of his children. So that's why we gotta pray for everybody to make sure they get to know God. And we got to set an example. We got to be careful. We got to be good. We got to watch our mouth. We got to watch how we act, how we talk, even how we walk, y'all. And just know that God is watching at all times, and people watch, too. They be watching you and see what you're going to say and what you're going to do and you call yourself a Christian, you know? But it's just moments like these. I got to give them thanks. I guess somebody would say, oh, that ain't nothing. You ain't doing nothing. Yes, it is. Because there's some people can't do this. And we got to pray for them. That they know Jesus and can relax in life and enjoy life. It ain't all got to be hard at all times. It ain't got to be hard all the time, y'all. We don't. So we're going to do the devotion because we did the daily bread today. This is called a sincere relationship. We need to be sincere in our hearts when it comes to our relationships with God. There is no need for us to feel as if we need to pretend in God's presence. God knows us more than we know ourselves. But we can commune with him and act like we are without any worries or thoughts. We are only being hypocrites. Our hypocrisy will actually prevent us from totally connecting with God. God pushes us to come to Him wholeheartedly, ready to fellowship with Him without any restrictions or doubts. Wow. In all honesty, God is the only one we can express the depths of our hearts to in confidence. When we tell people there's a high chance that we will be let down, but when we tell God, there is a definite possibility possibility that we will receive peace, assurance, and wisdom to handle the situation. Our hearts have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus, making us free from the power of sin. This allows us to come to God with a clear conscience, free of guilt and shame. We have been purified by Christ. This is what this Bible verse, Hebrews 10, 22 and 23, is trying to tell us. We have been assured of our perfections, and there is nothing that should convince us otherwise. As Christians, we really have become new creatures in Christ. We no longer define ourselves by our sinful nature. We identify ourselves in Jesus Christ. 
We are to hold on to the faith with all our heart, mind, and soul. There are many factors in the world that will try discourage, try to discourage us from having faith in God. We cannot afford to pay attention to any of them. This is why we need to remain rooted in God's word. God. God's word will keep us firmly rooted in faith, always remembering us of the goodness of God and the glory to come. Amen. Um, Get closer to God day by day. Now that was an amazing devotion. Wow, I'm going to have to start reading my devotions more. I used to, but I got to start. And it's called A Sincere Relationship. Okay? Let us draw near with a true heart, a full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. That's the Hebrews 10, 22 and 23. I want y'all to see it. It's up top. I read this part first. Y'all get this app. Y'all, I know y'all got plenty of, it's plenty of my there. This is the King James verse. I think I don't know. Let me just show it to you. Please get that. Because when you're just laying around and stuff, if you're feeling down or out or whatever, if you just want to spend time with God, there ain't nothing wrong with just opening up one of these apps. There it is at the top, the little round one. It's the King James version. And put you on something relaxing and just enjoy. Just enjoy. I had a long talk with the Lord, and I told him how I feel, and I hope he understands. He already know, but he just like to hear from me sometimes. All the time, to tell you the truth. So, I hope you enjoyed the reading in the mukbang. Miss K just be throwing, damn! <laughs> okay? Now, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Just know whatever you're doing today. Just, you know, thank God for everything. Just thank him. Just thank him. All right? See you on the next one. Peace.